Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be giving you my top seven tips for cruising with a toddler. We just got back from our Princess Cruises week-long vacation in the Mexican Riviera and it was amazing. Our son is 16 months old and we had a fabulous time. I have so many tips and so many things I wanna say like pack this and bring that, but I tried to get my most like helpful tips for you in one spot, so here we go. My number one tip is to bring some things from home that are really familiar for your child. So some books, some toys, a few things that can easily fit in your suitcases that won't take up too much space and will bring your baby a sense of familiarity from home to help them adjust and get right into a rhythm. I also highly recommend maybe bringing a new book or a new toy that you surprise them with. It's really important that you can find yourselves a few extra minutes because cruising with a toddler is a lot of work. So a new toy is really, really helpful. I also brought my son's like nighttime books that we read before bedtime so it really helped him like cue into the fact okay the day's over this is kind of like home we're reading llama llama everybody's happy a little eric carl in our life and which brings me to my number two tip. You're probably wondering about the crib situation. We were on a princess cruise. They provided us with a Graco Porta crib, which was awesome. Just so you know, they don't provide the standard fitted sheet for that. You need to bring your own pack and play sheet if that's something that you want. Otherwise, they kind of like stuff a twin size sheet sort of underneath the mattress of the Porta crib. My number three tip is bring the right shoes, okay? If you're going somewhere really cold, you're gonna have like a sneaker or a booty for your toddler. If you're going somewhere warm, you're gonna have sandals. These were really, really helpful, okay? These are kind of like Crocs, fake Crocs. My BFF Rachel came up with that really cute term. Sand washed off these really easily just with some water and there was no dry time. And when we were on the deck of the ship, the bottoms are super grippy. These came from Target and they were only like seven or eight dollars, whereas like the brand name ones are like 20 to 30 dollars. So I'm all about the bargain. These were awesome. I definitely recommend something like this. My third tip is definitely bring a life vest for your toddler. This one is so cute. Ethan looked adorable in it. It has a little like buckle that strap that clips in right around here and it helps the vest not to like come up too high on his chin. So this was perfect. I will put a link for this in the description below for you. My fifth tip is for those parents who really like their kids to eat off of a clean, clean surface. Okay. If you're more of like, oh, that fell on the floor, five second rule, no big deal, then this probably isn't for you. But if you're not like that at all, okay, adhesive placemats. These are from Amazon and I will link them in the description below for you. You just stick it on, baby can eat the food off the placemat, take it off and throw it away. My sixth tip for you, this is like liquid gold. If you don't hear anything, hear this. A Lilla Baby carry-on baby carrier is what you need and you have to make sure it's the carry-on because that's for toddlers and they do have amazing infant ones, but my son, he's 36 six inches tall, he's 30 pounds, he has been since he was 15 months old, and so we need something heavy duty. This thing is the business, okay? I was walking around with this for hours and hours, and my son was comfortable, I was comfortable, I cannot even believe how much I carried him. It's so darling, and it's really breathable. See all this like mesh paneling? We actually love this so much that we folded up our umbrella stroller and never took it out once during our trip. In fact, we have a trip coming up in several weeks, and we're not gonna bring an umbrella stroller at all. Can you? believe it. We're taking a toddler and no stroller. We're only going to bring the carrier because that's how helpful and amazing it is. I'm truly, truly surprisingly comfortable. I'm so pleased with this. I can't recommend it highly enough. If you are going around and exploring different places and seeing different sites and you have a toddler, you cannot go without a carrier that can support you for hours. I mean, this thing is absolutely amazing. Okay, my last tip and most important, number seven, the right mindset. This is not going to be some relaxing getaway where you like find your inner peace. Mm. It's not like you just step on the cruise ship and everything is so relaxing. No, you have a toddler. You have a little explorer on your hands who wants to eat everything, see everything, touch everything, and like really get out there and see the world, okay? You have a lot of work on your hands. So make sure that whoever you're going with, you guys are gonna like work together. Luckily, I had, I, I said work together like this, but I meant like work together. Luckily, I got to go with my husband and my family. And my husband and I, we were really a team. Sometimes we took shifts during the nap so the other person could go out and relax. Um, we at one point had my sister. She helped me like during one of Ethan's naps. She just watched him in the room and we got to go out and have some relaxing time. But really other than that, it takes a lot of teamwork and a lot of effort. If I'm carrying the baby, maybe my husband is going 
to get our table and high chair. Or if he's carrying the baby, maybe I'm getting everyone's food. It really takes a lot of teamwork and as long as you go in with the mindset that you're willing to be a team player and really put the effort in to have a fabulous trip, you really can. The point here is to make family memories and to have so much fun. I hope these tips were really helpful for you. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on this video. I would love it if you leave me a comment because you're probably getting ready for a vacation. Will you tell me where you're going? I love getting excited about other people's travels as well as my own. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I will catch you next time.